Right, I haven't started on the graveyard, at the, uh, the big one in the centre of Ormskirk yet. So I've seen this church from a distance and another one. One was um, a Methodist, no sign of graves. This is a Roman Catholic, St Anne's. So I thought I'd do this. It won't be open. Oh look, there's a cock's head. That's one thing I was going to say, so There's lots of cock's heads. I got a feeling Mrs. Cock's head was from up north. I found loads of cock's heads everywhere and all the graveyards around where your ancestors were. This is a bit of a dilemma, isn't it, coming here? I've got that massive one in the middle of town. It only costs 10 quid to go from Croston to Liverpool. I'm not going to try and get in. What I'll do, I'm just going to do a scan like we've had to in the past. I'm just going to do a scan because otherwise I have no energy for that big churchyard. So this is St Anne's Roman Catholic. Not St Peter and St Paul's, the one in the middle of Ormskirk. This is um, a different one. I don't think they were Roman Catholics. But I'm just going to do a scan anyway. Because it is such a nice church. But none of them are open. See, we have got a Heaton here. Henry H Heaton, who died the 16th of February, 1862, aged 16. And Robert Heaton who died 1870, aged 42, sons of James and Mary Heaton of Scars Risbrick. And there's another one, John Grisdell Heaton and Catherine Freeman. Somebody married a, a, Heaton, a girl he was a heater and I think mar probably married a how or something, I don't know, I can't remember now. But you have got a direct ancestor who was a heaton. It's like a gold mine for me up here, to be quite honest, Sarah. It's like a gold mine, it's just, it's overpowering, to be quite honest. I am surrounded by your ancestors one way or another surrounded by them so this is just a little video I'm going to go off now and do a few I'm not going to video the whole of this but I will do photographs because I really wanted to keep this camera for um, the other church I, I might be able to come on the on the train you know it, it, only, it only costs about five it's only ten pound to go to Liverpool and back and I'm going to do that one day I've decided right over